Hi, I'm Valeria Mariani. Today I'll be taking you to the northern European countries where Arctic animals are hunted. We're in Reykjavik, Iceland. In a few hours, we'll be heading to the eastern part of the country where our hosts will accompany us on a hunt for Icelandic reindeer. To those used to Europe's big cities, Reykjavik feels more like a small town than a capital city. But by Icelandic standards, it's a fully-fledged metropolis, replete with hubbub and traffic. The city's architecture boasts a wealth of futuristic buildings which are flanked by the old city's historical homes. Reykjavik has a population of 160,000 inhabitants, more than half of all Iceland. For over a thousand years, it's been the center of business and trade for the entire island. Fishing is still the country's primary industry, but it is so prosperous and lucrative that Iceland's gross domestic product is one of the world's highest. Reykjavik is a cosmopolitan city, complete with museums, theatres, movie theatres, pubs and restaurants. It's the point of departure for the treks through wild nature that await the island's guests. But even though Iceland is famous the world over for its extraordinary natural landscapes, the inhabitants of the capital spend more time at work than at play and seldom leave the city. The city's location is splendid. Looking out towards the ocean waves from the port, you can see the snow-capped peak of Mount Asia. Reykjavik means Bay of Smoke because of the presence of geysers. It uses only geothermal energy to produce heat and electricity. The Blue Lagoon is a natural pool of geyser-generated hot water located a few miles from the city centre. Today it's a luxurious beauty and wellness spa that attracts hundreds of tourists daily. After this one-hour flight, we'll be in Egilstadir, at the easternmost end of the island. Its surrounding highland plateau is the habitat of the reindeer.
Iceland's landscapes were carved by rivers of ice. The rivers descended from mountains covered in snow, which had accumulated over the course of centuries in areas that never thaw. Beneath the excessive weight of the ice, the earth was compressed, causing the ice at the outer edges to melt and start flowing towards the valley, thereby forming glaciers. Here in Iceland's southeast is where Vatnajökull is located. It's the third largest glacier in the world after Antarctica and Greenland. There are no trees in Iceland. The landscape features hills, valleys and canyons which were carved by glaciers, as well as lakes, solidified lava and a wind-whipped tundra. Vegetationless highland plains make up most of the territory here. <laughs> 